Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Melt with Nat and Jack, I'm Natalie. If it's your first time here, welcome, and if you're returning, thank you so much. Welcome back. I'm here tonight, I think it's like two weeks that I have done my vendor candle melting basket, and I have a lot here. So, um, let's get started. I'm going to start with wallflowers. I replaced some wallflowers. I have leaves going in my kitchen. I have old fashioned cider donut going in my dining room. I just replaced that yesterday. I have my recycling bucket here and I have onyx here. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Okay. You know, she always has to be right where I am. Okay, and then I have, oh, I have two old-fashioned cider donuts going. I must have one in my daughter's room, so I replaced hers. I replaced my granddaughter's uh, fresh sheets I have going. Oh, fresh sheets I have going in the guest bathroom because it's right outside the laundry area. So I thought that would be a good one for there. And rain-kissed petals, that's what I have going in Axel's bedroom um candles homeworks white birch got finished with a white birch i actually started another one because last year i love this one so much i haven't bought homeworks candles in well over a year but i bought so many when i first started that you'll probably see homeworks candles for the next two years but i'm not buying them new it's just for a certain amount of time i kept buying and i'm buying them uh, but white birch was one i really loved and look how beautiful that burned all the way down to the bottom, no wick issues. And the same thing is happening with the other new one I'm doing. Um, and white birch is white birch, fir balsam, crisp winter air. And it's a great, great cold night candle to burn. Cause when I'm done with my warmers, like say I can't smell what I've been warming. Cause I normally get up at like 5.30 in the morning, time I cheat, get my wax, clean wax in is like six so by six at night you know like 80 percent of the time you can't smell it anymore i mean every now and then you get lucky and you get you know the whole night and when i can't i just shut all my warmers off do my freezer method to get the wax off and that's when i light my candles so i love this candle white birch homeworks really good candle um twisted peppermint is Cool peppermint, sugared snow, fresh balsam, vanilla buttercream, a hint of musk. And this is so good. I really loved it. I would definitely get another one next year. Winter. Oh, my God. This candle so good. I'm hoping I have a backup. I think I do. I'm not sure. I think I got a backup in the single wick. It's white woods, pine needles, sparkling clementine, spiced clove. Now, I don't really like spice. I don't like clove, but I love this candle. Paris Cafe, rich roasted coffee, sugar brioche, and vanilla cream. So I had this going in my crock, and my daughter came in the game room. And she's like, ew, mom, what are, you, what are you warming in the game room? It smells horrible. And normally she likes the smell of coffees, but I think this was just strong. She wasn't expecting it. I love, and I have like four more of these, so I'll always have Paris Cafe. Marshmallow Fireside, one of my favorites, and I know a favorite of many. And it's toasted marshmallows, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, crystallized amber. Oh, this is so good. I know I have a back. I always have a marshmallow fireside as a backup. So that is my candles, my wallflowers. Now I'm going to do my samples. Guys, I found a new love. Oh, sorry, I'm itch under my eyes from her hair, from Onyx's hair. Black sugar. I don't know like what scent notes are to black sugar. I should have looked it up. I didn't. I could tell you this. I put this in my basement in my warmer that I keep in the basement. And it, I think I got like almost three days out of this one sample. Every time I opened the upstairs door and I went down by the basement, I absolutely love this. And I just got a scoop recently from L3 that has black sugar in it. But I love black sugar. Love it. 
So good. Matter of fact, I'm going to throw it here because when, um, when Jennifer asks for single scent requests, ooh, I'm going to request black sugar as a single scent. I loved it. Another one I loved is Ava's, and this is Cider Lane Vanilla Frosted Grams. I had this in the kids' bathroom. I put two hearts on it. I'm going to put this here for my reorder basket for next year. Oh, Ava's is now Traverse City. She changed the name. Traverse, T-R-A-V-E-R-S-E, City, C-I-T-Y. Um, banana Coconut Extreme Vanilla Wafers. I don't remember this one. I don't know even know if I did it in the kids' bathroom or in the basement because I have a tea light in their bathroom. I don't remember it. Um, Ava's Brown Sugar Zucchini. This was really good. Sugared Spruce by K Kays. I'm doing that right now in the kids' bathroom. I love Sugared Spruce. I've gotten it several times. Um, some clams. I did Better Homes White Peppermint Mocha. I'm just trying to get rid of these. I bought so many of them right before Christmas, and it's just okay. I got a few of them, and I'm... I'm like, I'll never buy it again. Um, I did Bathing Garden Circus Bread. So this is over a year because I'm ready now to start using my Bathing Garden because um, I got a bunch of boxes under my granddaughter's bed and I let them, I was told get it and put it away for a year. So that's what I did. And they're now a year old and coming on a year, some other ones. So I'm going to start using my Bathing Garden. It's yeasty fruit cake, fresh strawberry, and vanilla. Circus bread. Um, I absolutely loved it. It was really good. Medium throw, not strong, like light to medium, but it was really good. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to vintage chic. Um, this was poured in August of 21, so it's a year and a half old, and it was a souffle in fire starter embeds mcboo overpour campfire marshmallow bonfire bliss and fireside and then marshmallow gooey marshmallow palo santo and vanilla frosted grams so this was really good i did the souffle in the area i'm in right now in the game room and it was really good not one that i'd look to like there's other marshmallow and campfire scents that I love, but it was, it was nice. It was more of a smoky scent and I like smoky scents, so I enjoyed it. This one I loved and I would definitely take this in her blossom bar. Loved it. Meltdown. This is September of 21. Meltdown is peppermint, spearmint, corn mint, sweet mint. Vanilla cream and snow cotton candy. Meltdown. Absolutely loved it. I'm throwing it here so I can watch because um, Vintage Chic, um, I think this is her last year, Kirby saying. So by the end of 23, um, she's shutting down. So everybody's been like crazy whenever she does her pre-orders or RTSs, just trying to stock up, knowing she's not going to be around. So if she does that in a um, blossom bar, she's been seeming to do a lot of blossom bars lately, I would grab that. Um, Vintage Chic is another one that you really have to let sit for the longer the better. It's like teddy bees, at least six months. Sometimes even after six months, I'll warm a little. And if I think it's light, I'll just wrap it back up, double bagged, put it away, and then six months later, when it hits its year mark, do it again, and voila, like, it blows up. So, uh, Rose Girls, Cider Lane and Pretzel Day. This was one of my best days. I absolutely love this. It's Cider Lane Bath and Body Work type, peanut butter, pretzels, and cinnamon sugar. I think I got two days out of this. I loved it. I worked on it for a while, like here and there, a couple pieces. I wrote a heart. A nine and set and throw and the fall of 23, four bags. I wrote myself a note to get four bags come fall 23. Loved this so much. You got the cider lane. You got the peanut butter, the pretzel. It was so good. I loved it. Put that there. Um, all right, put these here. 
Rose Girls, my favorite campfire marshmallow. I got through a mini melter bag of that now that I have a lot of backups. This is just heaven in a bag for me. It's so soothing. I love it. A favorite. Um, one that was new to me that I warmed is Go Tell It on DK's Mountain, Fresh Pine, Sweater Weather, and Vanilla Bean Noel. And I absolutely understand why so many love this. This is uh, her Fire Mario collection, I believe I got this from. I wrote 2023, get six bags of this. This went for two days and I put four hearts on it. So this lasted two full days without even opening the bag right now. Tell me if you've ever had, and this was my note, and I wrote get six bags for fall 2023. Go tell it on DK's Mountain. Anybody watching ever have this one? I'm telling you, if you haven't tried it, it's excellent. Then her Vermont, Rose Girls, her Ver, Rose Girls Vermont Honey Apple Royal Sugar Cookies. So that's right there. Now, I've had her Vermont honey apple and I loved it. So I wrote, I like both the Vermont honey apple on its own and the Vermont honey apple with the sugar cookies. The last time when I had it, the Vermont honey apple, I had it so solely by itself without the sugar cookies and I prefer that. That's what I wrote. See, I like a lot of things not blended, like Campfire Marshmallow. I won't even buy it blended from Rose Girls. I only want that on its own. I like it better. And the Vermont Honey Apple also, I like it on its own better than Mix, even though I love the sugar cookie. Um, so I wrote that I prefer Vermont Honey Apple on its own, but I do like the Royal Sugar Cookie too, but I prefer the Vermont on its own. And it was sugar cookie strong. So the sugar cookie kind of took over the Vermont honey apple scent that I, I love that I've had before, like last year by itself. So I didn't like that the sugar cookie took over. I really just wanted to smell that Vermont honey apple more. So I, I would only repurchase Vermont Honey Apple by itself. Now I know that. It was like when I first bought Jenny's Campfire Marshmallow, I loved it so much on its own. And then when she started doing it in blends and didn't have it on, so I'm like, oh, she has it blended. I'll try that. And everything I got in a blend, I'm like, no, I just like it better on its own. So coconut buttermint monster cookies. I finished up a mini melter bag in Axel's room. She was here all weekend. Very rarely does Axel, like, you know, she's just so used to the house with all the scents. And I wrote this one in Axel's room with a heart. She loved it three hours strong and then it went light like a light to medium but she went in her room and she came out she goes no no what are you warming in my room and I told her what it was I go do you like it and she's like yeah so we love that one um I finished a mini melter bag in Rose Girls Christmas Christmas Eve in Cookie Land I know this is a favorite, favorite of mine also. Eggnog, Royal Sugar Cookie, Monster Cookie, Marshmallow Smoothie, and Donut Holes. Absolutely a repurchase. I don't even need to put this in my repurchase bucket because I love it and I've repurchased it several times. I did um, L3, and this is Blackberry Jam, Zucchini Bread, Jelly Donuts, Brown Sugar Pound Cake, and Vanilla Bean Noel. And on my note, I wrote two sides. This went all day and night. The blackberry was really strong in it. Um, I like blackberry. I like the butter cookie. What did I write? I like blackberry butter, butter cookies better. But as the day went on, the blackberry lightened up and the bakery came out more and it got better. Does that make sense to you? It makes sense to me. So it was blackberry jam strong in the beginning for a while. And I'm very, with blackberry, I depends. Sometimes I really like it and sometimes I don't. If it has a soury, no, I don't like it. 
So this had a soury note, but then as it warmed a few hours later, it toned down the sour blackberry note and the bakery came more out in it and then I liked it more, but I wouldn't repurchase it. It's not like a blend I would want more because I had to go through the first couple of hours of not really loving it. Um, Sweet Lavender Buttercream Fruit Loops from L3. I love this. It's a repeat for me. This is a trick tart and I have more of these. I've bought it several times. Um, so, yep. Heart, loved it. Sweet Lavender Buttercream Fruit Loops. I love L3's Buttercream. Then this one, I have three hearts. I burnt, I warm this in Axel's room. It's birthday cake, ice cream, scoop bread, sugar cookie royale. I have, this was a puppy pack and I have two more of the puppy packs of this. Excellent, love it. Strong, went all day. It was like all day and night, that one. Then I had a loaf of sugar cookie royale espresso and I fin I've been working on this loaf for the past few months. It's like over a year old, this is. And um, I finished it up. Love it. I don't even need to save this bag. L3 is my favorite coffee. Oh, this one I absolutely loved. L3 Fall Festivities. I gave it a 10 in Scent and Throw. I wrote 2023. Get at least two more loaves. It's today is October 3rd, mixed with Mac Apple and leaves. So it's Fall Festivities. Loved it. Really happy with that. Uh, Lorid, I did Wake Me Up. It's bold coffee and vanilla cream. Lorid is not around anymore, but this was really good. I liked it. Pharmacist Daughter, loved. This also was a really favorite. This went two and a half days. So this was a whole loaf. It went two and a half days all through my house. It's winter beach house. I accidentally... I thought I got two loaves of Bloody Mary because I love that one, but I got two loaves of Winter Beach House. So if you watched when I did my pre-order haul in December, beginning of December or late November, something like that, I was a little surprised that I had two loaves of Winter Beach House and then I figured it out. I screwed up. You know what? There's a reason for everything. I am so happy I screwed up that I have another whole loaf of this. It's blue sugar, driftwood, salt air, lemon zest, and sand dunes. Absolute repurchase, but I have another whole loaf of it. Winter Beach House, loved it. I had a little piece left today and I have it now warming in my basement, but first I warmed it th throughout all the main area in my house. Then after like two full days, I did not have to change out my warmer. Then I did it just in the game room here, and then I had one piece left, and it's in the basement since this morning, going strong. It is a powerhouse. I love my pharmacist daughter. Love. Okay, now let's talk Teddy Bees. So, Milk of the Poppy, don't come for me. I know everyone loves it, most. And Milk of the Poppy, I need my flashlight, is Palo Santo and the Richest Creamy Vanilla. I gave it a two. This was, um, was this a loaf? Oh, no, no, this was a tub. And I gave it a two in my open concept. Did it in my open concept, could hardly smell it. Smells beautiful in the bag, warming it, can't smell it. Then I did it in my room. Figure, let me do it in a smaller area. I did it in my room. I gave it a three. A little bit more, I could smell it. Then I had a little bit left and I did charities thing where you, in the candle crock, I cleaned a candle out. Uh, so now I use the jar, the glass Bath and Body Works jar and melt wax in it when I don't have a candle to put in there. So I had a little bit of the milk of the poppy left. I put it in the crock and it did the best in the crock. That's when I smelled it the most when I walked in and out of this game room. I could smell this the best in the crock that it smelled like as good as it does in the bag. I will not repurchase it though. Winter Farmhouse. This was a bag of blocks. So it was her four big blocks in here. And this was poured, oh, Milk of the Poppy. This was from March of 22. So it was almost a year old. Yeah, we're on 11 months. Winter Farmhouse was October of 21. 
So this is now a year and a half old almost. Winter farmhouse. And this is sugar cane, rosemary, blue spruce, teak wood, sweet mint, palo santo, and light florals. So like I said, it was the four, four big blocks. So I warm this like, so say this was October of 21. Last summer, I remember I took one block from my room, warmed it. I'm like, wow, this is really light. Put it away, warmed it again, and I really liked it a lot. So I just did this like a couple days ago in my room again, and I loved it. It was really, really good. Do I crave to have more of it? No, I would not. I don't. I don't think I'd get Winter Farmhouse again. If I got it in a sample, I wouldn't mind. I really liked it the second time around, but it absolutely had a sit. So definitely with Teddy Bees, I know people don't like to have to wait that long to warm it, but you, that's, for me, it's the only way I could do it because when I warm it within the first six months, it's light. If I wait like a year, I get much better performance, so. Again, Ava's Traverse City Blizzard Cookies, Vanilla Frosted Peppermint. This was poured November 6, 21. Oh, I had this in my Christmas melting basket. Oh, my note on here, I wrote, this was a favorite. When it is offered, get multiple bags. So Blizzard Cookies, loved it. I have to request this. I need more. It was so good. I finished Black Rain from Super Tarts. It's her Blackberry and Rain. I have more coming from Wax Wednesday. So I felt comfortable to uh, finish this one. Well, I don't need to even save it. I love it and it's, I have more on the way. Um, Super Tarts, Fake and Bake and Twisted Peppermint. I wrote, oh my God, more. At least two more Bam Bags went offered again. So this is her zucchini bread, sugar cookie, sweet cream, and twisted peppermint. Fake and bake twisted peppermint. It was a great day. This is so, so good. Loved it. Um, then I did, I finished, I mixed L3 Scoop Coffee House Whipped Cream Buttercream Frosting. I love L3's Buttercream Frosting. I mixed, I had a little bit left in here. So I mixed it with Sensi's Caramel Toffee um, all through my kitchen and dining room. And yum, yum, yum. Really, really good. Um, okay, keys. Oh, I put this on Carla from Keys, her Facebook page yesterday. Cozy Nights, it's rich tobacco and sweet almonds. Did this in my room. Like I did it like, say like two months ago and then I just finished it off the other night. And wow, this is so, so good. Cozy Nights. And I'm gonna tell you something, the sweet almond takes over. It's definitely the top note because I have other tobacco blends from Carla that the tobacco is the top note, the sweet tobacco, and I love that scent. Um, it reminds me of a really rich cigar bar that in the city that I've gone to a few times with um, my boss that owns the title company. We've gone in New York to meet clients and we always end up at this cigar bar. So, um, but what I found with this is we've, a lot of us have been crying about Scentsy taking away almond croissant. Well, this sweet almond I want on its own. And I put that on Carla's, um, Facebook page when I posted this yesterday that I want sweet almond just on its own as a blender mixer. And you know what? I could care less now if Scentsy brings back almond croissant because I think I like sweet almond even better. So if anybody is missing almond croissant and you don't have it in your club, try K's Sweet Almond. It's really good, really good. This is my good friend, Krista from K Marie Plans. She did a custom this past summer when Carla did her 4th of July sale. So I copied her custom strawberry pound cake boom boom and serendipity so i've been working on this for quite a while finally finished it off 
absolutely loved it. I text Krista that this was so good. The only thing I would do different, because I'm going to reorder this blend. I'm not that big on serendipity because I don't like strong cherry. Um, so what I would do with this is I would ask Carla to do 40% strawberry pound cake, 40% boom boom, and 20% serendipity. I loved it, but the I would just tone down the serendipity just a little bit. So that for me, for my nose, would make it perfect. So I'm gonna save this, and I, I don't need to write notes, I already know I love it, and then I just want it with a little less serendipity. Sassy Girl Aroma. This is a long video, huh guys? I have a lot of empties. I think it's over two weeks. So this is her, when she did, tried these, um, what did she call these? I forget, these are her squeeze, squeezables. I don't think she's doing them anymore for whatever reason. She did them the one time and then she said she wasn't doing them anymore. And I don't know. I don't know why. So this is Christmas at Santa's. Pepperberry wreath, sugar cookies, and marshmallow fireside. So I do have this also in her brittle. I have half a brittle left. So I used half the brittle and I used a cube of the brittle and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Because I want to get rid of these. I have a few of them. I'm just afraid they're going to lose scent because I'm curious as to why she's not doing them anymore. So I'm trying to use it up. So I mixed it with the Christmas at, Christmas at Santa's brittle. And it's really, really good. But again, it's four hours and done. That's my thing with Sassy Girl Aroma. Four hours and done. So raspberry mocha. No, I did her raspberry mocha. It's dark roasted coffee, vanilla creamer, white mocha swirl, raspberry syrup topped off with whipped cream. I wrote, the raspberry is a sour note and I get zero creaminess in it. So I did not enjoy that. I couldn't wait to get this out of my warmers. Oath, love oath. Oath is toasted marshmallow, Sea salt breeze, s'mores, roasted pine cones, smoked vanilla, sugar cookie, and marshmallow. I love Oath. It is so good, but I get maybe five, six hours tops on Oath, but the scent and throw is like a seven, and it smells beautiful. Like, I love it. Um, so, I don't know if I'll be buying from Sassy Girl. I don't know. If ever I did a Sassy Girl and I sh she has Oath, I would get it again. I do really like it, but I wouldn't go in to just buy that and pay the shipping. Then I did a mix. So I did Scentsy's Lemon Sorbet, and I mixed it with L3's Buttermilk Pie. I still have these left. And I just felt one day, I was cleaning the house and I wanted bakery, but yet I wanted a little bit of a fresh scent. And I haven't, I was didn't warm lemon in a while, so I wanted lemon. I actually, that day, did lemon sorbet in the bedrooms, blended with something else I did in another, my Scentsy Empty video. But then I grabbed another bar and I mixed it with the buttermilk pie. Buttermilk pie is Angela... Oh my God, I can't think of Angela's channel right now. I'm sorry. It's her blend. It's creme brulee pie crust, vanilla custard sugar cookie. And what's her, if anyone knows Angela's channel, put it in comments. I like have it in my head, but I can't think of it. I Sorry, 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 Ange. Um, so I blended these excellent it gave me exactly what i was looking for exactly what i was in the mood for was what i got and i loved it really happy with that another blend i did i had two cubes left of my Scentsy's lavender violet left from our garden collection which this is in my club i absolutely love it and i had just a little bit left of a loaf of L3's snooze button. Snooze button is sweet lavender, vanilla bean noel, and butter mints. So I took the little bit left and the little bit left and I did it in my bedroom one night and I loved it. So it's snooze button and this isn't even available anymore anyway, but it was really good. I liked it. Great nighttime blend. 
Then I mixed, I had um, half a pie from Kathy Scoopable in her circus, con her, of her circus concession. She did ha the half pies. It was so beautiful. I hated to even use it up, but I've been picking on it and picking on it like since last summer. So I'm like, let me just finish this up. So it is cotton candy. It's wind so windy. We have a bad storm going on right now down here. It's cotton candy frosting, ooey gooey caramel, Macintosh madness, and funnel cake. I absolutely love this. I call this Charity's blend. This is her favorite. So whenever I grab circus concessions, like, oh, I'm warming Charity's favorite today. This was so good, so I had just a little bit left of the pie, and I mixed it with, my friend Jen sent me a bunch of ECS, and this is Fiona Supreme Witch, poured October of 21, and this is um, cider, cider cup, cider, wait a minute, cupcake frosting, Granny Smith apple, cider, waffle cone. Yeah, so I mixed the little bit I had of this. I thought it would blend good with this with the apples, and it did. It was so, so, so good. I would absolutely get more. Mm. This is so good. So Fiona Supreme Witch, VCS, loved, would get more. But you got to let it sit. VCS, Teddy Bees, Ava's, the longer they sit, the better they get. A lot of people don't want to do that, and I understand. Then I finished a brick of maraschino sugar cookie, which is a cherry bakery strong. It's sugar cookie, vanilla, maraschino, cherry. I'm not a cherry person, but I love this maraschino sugar cookie. So does my so does my cousin, and we don't like cherry, but you can't even think of cherry when you warm this. You don't get, you get cherry, but it is 100% bakery, 100% maraschino sugar cookie. It is such a beautiful scent. I have another whole brick and in my club. So I had a couple cubes left of this and I took it and I mixed, I wanted to get rid of this because it's birdies make sense, right? And it is her movie theater popcorn Movie theater, popcorn, farmhouse, cider. All right. So you can't even read the label. So movie theater, popcorn, birdies make sense. I had two brittles, like two snap bars. That's what they were, the snap bars. Warm the one snap bar one night in my room thinking, oh, I... I wanted to, I was like on my laptop. I was still logged into my office working. It was like 10 o'clock at night. I'm like, yeah, I want to smell that popcorn right now. Did one snap bar. I'm like an hour later, it's just smelled like melting butter on the pan. You know, when you just melt butter, no scent whatsoever. So I'm like this other snap bar, I don't even want to warm it because I just didn't like it. So I'm like, okay, let me mix it with the maraschino sugar cookie. So the next day I came in here in my game room. I took the other snap bar because I was not putting it back in the drawer because I just would not have pulled it again. So I said, let me just finish this. So I finished it with, I had two cubes left of maraschino sugar cookie. I mixed the two, loved it. But that's because the maraschino sugar cookie. Then I did, this is it guys, the end, 33 minutes. I did Keys Vanilla Butter Fudge, and I finished off Pretzel in a scoopable from L3, and um, it was okay. I think I I think I'm, I'm gonna get another bag of Vanilla Butter Fudge. I thought I had heard somebody mix it with Pretzel, but then when I started looking at my blending notes, sometimes I write blending notes as I watch videos what other people are doing. It wasn't Pretzel; it was something else. But I didn't really like it. I like the pretzel. Love it. I've done it on its own. I've done it in other blends. I just didn't like it blended together. So, but I love pretzel repurchase. And I even have another one because I got two of these. And I love the vanilla butter fudge. Definite repurchase. Just don't blend them together. That was a bad blending idea on my end. That's all. So, and that's it, guys. Those are my empties for two weeks. And let me know what you're warming. Um, have a great rest, rest of your week. I'm starting to put a Valentine's basket together. Um, so I'm going to probably do, I don't do melting baskets, but I might do a Valentine's Day one or just spread out when I'm warming and just 
show you guys and post it and not even like get into talking about it on cold. So, I mean, I have some in the shape of hearts, um, wax and stuff. So I wanted to share that before I start cutting into them. So you could see the beauty of it before I just show you an empty bag. Um, all right. I love you guys. I got to feed my cats, my dog, and um, that's it. Have a great week, everybody. Love you guys. Bye.